This is Cinema Sunday. After the credits, movie reviews. Welcome back to a long overdue Cinema Sunday. I have been very busy uh, as well as ill, so I'm finally back to do a few reviews of a few things that are on television as well as on uh, in the theaters. So. Here's a couple of reviews of some things that I think are worth seeing and some things I think you should definitely pass on. First of all, there's The Woman in Black, which uh, if I had to do a horror movie preview for, would go something like this. The Woman in Black, otherwise known as Harry Potter, goes up and down the stairs. Of all the movies out there to see, this ain't one of them. A definite must pass. Yeah, uh, Woman in Black, really. It wasn't even really a horror movie. It was a... I don't know what it was. It was barely even a suspense movie. He goes up the stairs, he looks around, he goes down the stairs, and he looks around. He goes up the stairs and down the stairs. What a waste of time. I thought Paranormal Activity 3 was was bad, but man, Woman in Black, just seriously, ugh, so bad. For Valentine's Day, my wife and I went to see The Vow uh, on February 14th, which is the day that I proposed. Uh, I guess it was 12 years ago. And um, so The Vow was, was great definite must see and i actually did some trailers for the vow so the vow this valentine's day go see the vow it's the notebook for 2012 a must see a happy ending it was a great movie it really was uh and even though the the ending is a little bittersweet it definitely will will make you cry tears of joy and uh, it was a great film that you should definitely, definitely go watch. So there's a few films that, you're, that are out there that are definitely worth watching. I'm going to go check out John Carter, and I'll bring you a review back for that next week. And uh, there's actually quite a good f- few, few good films out there. And my last review of one that I think you should see, not everybody agrees, but Underworld Awakening, very nice. Underworld Awakening, rated PG-13. It was awesome. Definitely worth seeing. As far as for TV, oh man, my new favorite. The Walking Dead, only on AMC. Walking Dead has really, really stepped up the game. I mean, it is it is so much fun to watch. It is a soap opera with zombies, but it is a fun soap opera to watch. Uh, the last episode, oh, I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen it, but if you have Xfinity, you should definitely go back to uh, catch up on TV series and go back and catch up on all the Walking Dead episodes. It is a great show. For animation, I am seriously, seriously liking Transformers Prime. I finally finished the third part of the Orion Pax, uh, I guess it would be a trilogy episode. It was a three-parter. And uh, deep down, Optimus Prime is a good guy, despite whether he's a Prime or not. So great voice acting, great writing. Uh, I only had one small thing. Uh, I kind of cringed when Optimus Prime came to himself and said, Megatron, be gone. I mean, be gone. Couldn't think of anything better to write than that, guys. I mean, Peter Cullen has such a great voice. Don't make him say that, please. Uh, As far as little kid shows, uh, Transformers Rescue Bots is surprisingly cute. Uh, I kind of thought there would be a little more entertainment value as far as, uh, you know, learning stuff. Because I thought it was, for younger viewers, throw some, some informational education stuff in there. But there's not a lot of that. There's a lot of made up stuff like the last episode where they made lobsters fly uh i don't know if it was me just me guys uh i would throw some actual some actual education in there i mean make it where it's scientifically fact i mean they the episode with the volcano talking about pressure and how it has to be released that that's real science let's go with that kids might learn something and uh i say rescue bots is a perfect opportunity for Hasbro and for the Hub to bring back the PSAs. Bring back the public service announcements. Teach kids that you shouldn't cross the street without looking. Don't play in the road. Don't go into strangers' houses. All this, all these great things that we, we missed those from when we were kids. All the G.I. Joe PSAs, the Transformer PSAs. Bring back the PSAs. So, that's my reviews for the week. Catch Walking Dead tonight on AMC. And uh, go back and check out a few of the other films. But only go see Woman in Black if you are... I don't know, if you're in the mood for doing some mystery science theater stuff and you want to uh, make fun of some movies, that's the kind of movie you should go see. So uh, don't even bother renting it. Just pass completely. The Vow, take a date. Uh, it's it's a great, great movie. Very romantic, very sweet. So, yeah, definitely worth seeing. I'm going to link up the uh, trailers that I did for The Vow in this video. So go check those uh, out on uh, Sony Picks, uh channel. So anyways, you guys, take care. 
We'll see you at the movies. Insert shameless ravage the insert comic plug right here, yes.